How to connect up your Roland TD25 to GarageBand and to change assignments uh, in GarageBand. Uh, so to change the drum assignments in GarageBand. And we're going to do that using uh, a freeware app called MIDI Pipe. I'll probably write that in the uh, description. So basic setup is just got the um, USB out here and that is uh, going straight to the USB uh, on the MacBook. And you see my uh, highly classy uh, furniture there, <laughs> cardboard box table. Um, <clears throat> and then the headphones for the Roland are coming out of the MacBook so you, you're hearing what <clears throat> what garage band is outputting. If you go download MIDI pipe, uh, when you open MIDI pipe, uh, it should look like this, or something like this at least. And when you when you open it, it'll initially probably just have this unnamed pipe here. Uh, that's obviously something I put in earlier. So it'll look like this. So have a, you have a blank window here, and on the left here, you've got a kind of all the tools that you can use uh, for various things, not necessarily Roland drum things or or whatever. Um, so we we actually need to tell it what to do in the right order. So we're gonna gonna create a pipe here. Uh, this is a pipe that the output from the Roland is gonna go through before it goes into GarageBand. So I've created one earlier. To create a pipe, by the way, you just you just drag drag the tools you need across. In fact, I'll, I'll do it now. I'll, let's create one now. So here we go. So we're gonna need MIDI in, and then MIDI in. We're going to select uh, the TD25, which should come up hopefully once you've connected it. Um, and also you need to click this box here, hijack, which uh, makes sure it, it picks up the uh, output from the TD25, takes that in and uh, then puts it through the next steps, which I'm about to show you. So once it's got its input, it needs to know what to do with that input. Um, this thing here we're going to use, It's this isn't actually going to change the assignments, but it's going to tell us uh, what the current assignments are. So if you drag a list over into this window here, uh, what you'll find is if you actually hit a drum or a cymbal or whatever, in this little box down here, all this data comes up. And this column here is the one we're interested in. This is the second from the right hand side of the screen. This is the current assignment number of what you've just hit. So that's that's a symbol I just hit. Let's hit that. And that's the snare there. Snare is currently assigned uh, number 38. So that tells you what the current assignment is. And then we're going to uh, import the actual um, tool that's going to change the assignments for us, uh, which is called Key Mapper. So I'm going to drag that across here. <clears throat> So on KeyMapper, all you need to do is take the number that you just found and find it in this list here, select it. Uh, so say it was the snare, which I think was 38. And then that's it, you can change uh, You can change the, uh, the assignment here. So that does the work for you, that changes the assignment. And then after that, it needs somewhere to put it. So again, just making sure we keep everything in the correct order here that it's actually going to happen. Um, I sat for ages with this with key mapper below the MIDI in and MIDI out and it just bypassed it. It, it, it needs it in exactly the right order that things are going to happen. So the MIDI out, uh, make sure again you select uh, TD25 um, here um, to uh, to get your output uh, correct. Oh in fact no I think you need to select, no you need to select uh, uh, a MIDI pipe output. So for example MIDI pipe output 1 uh, there, which for some reason won't let me do it. You should now uh, be able to go back into GarageBand having, with all your new assignments and do what you need to do. Uh, let's have a look. Yeah, so if I select this here, yeah, uh, the assignments are still working uh, that I've just selected. Hopefully that helps you out.